Big debate here. Should mom and dad have to pay up because their five-year-old knocked over an expensive piece of art? Our affiliate, KSHB, uh, reporting this all goes down at a community center, Overland Park, Kansas. Mom, dad, four kids, actually, that are at a wedding. When their five-year-old goes to hug Aphrodite de Kansas City, that's the sculpture, and down it goes. So then the insurance company reportedly goes to collect the bill, 132000 bucks. Mom's res response is basically, come on, we can't pay that. Maybe this is like 800 or something. No, it's $132,000. I'm sorry, we're finished here. We're done here, okay. Uh, so what's the city? What are they saying? There's a societal responsibility that you may not interact with it, you know, if it's not designed for interaction. There you go. We've also just gotten a new statement from the city saying uh, they haven't talked to the family or sent a bill. The sculpture was on loan, and the artist estimated that value at 132 grand. The sculpture was installed there at least uh, for several weeks, secured by clips on the base of the piece. The city has filed an insurance claim for the value of that sculpture, not seeking damages from the family. Now, here are the two sides, basically. Mom says if this thing was so expensive, it should have been secured instead of it really turned into a safety hazard. That's her side. The other side says you should watch your kid. You break it, you buy it. So pay up. Who's right? Depends on who you ask here. Let's bring in. Uh, HLN legal analyst, criminal defense attorney Joey Jackson. Also joining us, Bob Bianchi is a former prosecutor, criminal defense attorney, law enforcement as well. Joey, what do you say? Mom and dad, it's time to pay up? Great to see you, Mike, and my friend Triple B. Bad Bob Bianchi. That's bad as in good, Bob Bianchi. How? Now, having said that, uh, I am going to be a bit of a Scrooge today, and here is why. The reality is, is that parents need to supervise their children, but I will temper my being a Scrooge with reason and say this. The statue does represent somewhat, right, I'm sure as Triple B will break down momentarily, an attractive nuisance. And as an attractive nuisance, you can reasonably expect an anticipate that a child might gravitate towards the statue. Having said that, I think certainly parents need to ensure, right, and I should say I'm glad the child is safe, don't want to be overly a Scrooge, but the fact is, is that you need to supervise your child, and when you don't, there are repercussions, there are consequences. Final point, there is something called comparative negligence, and comparative negligence means that what happens is you apportion liability for both sides, and that is, to the extent that the statue may not have been secured, right, that's liability that goes in the direction of the parents and the child, right? It should be clipped on properly. However, to the extent that this child should not have been there, and where are the parents, by the way, they have liability as well. Therefore, Justice Jackson rules that both sides have liability in this case. The parents do not leave this scot-free. He not only argues one side, he becomes judge as well, Bob. You got your work cut out for you. Self-appointed too, Mike. You Tri believe it? I point myself that, judge. That's my man, Triple J, Justice Joey. Jackson. That's why I love being on with him. I, I'm on team mom here. This is crazy. You have a $132,000 statue like that that does not uh, secure, that could fall down. It is an attractive nuisance, and the business has an obligation to make sure that it secures its property. The patrons don't know this is going to happen. The parents can't be sitting there looking at this kid at every single second. Who would think that something like this would happen? So, Justice Joey Jackson, we need to be in favor of mom. We need to take care of this little man because we don't want him in time out for the rest of his life. That's it. And he was traumatized, mom says. Joey, what about that? If this thing's worth 132 grand, don't you rope it off? Put it in a glass case or something? This isn't the Louvre. This is a community center. L let me wipe the tears from my eyes having heard my esteemed <laughs> colleagues' arguments, okay? For the parrots. Oh, boo, oh, oh, oh. Look, the fact is, is that it's an expensive statue. Yes, it is. At the same time, you want this statue exposed to the public because of its elegance, because of its charm, because of its beauty. And you certainly expect if it is a Expose that the parents are not sitting there, but they're monitoring and watching their child who should know that it is a statue and it's not a human to be hugged. Although I am, you know, very, very heartened by the affection that the child has. I say the parents still have some responsibility here, and I'm glad he's not hurt. I'll tell but you, he does gonna... need to be on timeout.
I'll Bob. tell you where they're going to lose, Justice Joey Jackson, because they should have roped it off or had somebody there if something is worth $132,000. And this is why people hate lawyers and insurance companies, because this insurance company that's making a ton of money goes to these blue collar, middle class people doing, working hard, trying to do the right thing with their kids and charges them $132,000. Who would even think that there would be something worth that much money? And if there is, it's their responsibility to protect it. Joey, what do you think? They may hate lawyers, but they will never hate you. And it's the Triple B. <laughs> and nor will they hate the esteemed Michael Anos here. All right. good uh, some liability this, on the parents. And I this, say split it. This is a good one, by the way. So tweet me at Michael Anos HLN with your thoughts on this one. Good debate. Bob, Joey, guys, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, Mike.